the title of this video will be something like how to start your golf swing or something like that. Yeah. Um, so I got a heavy object here, Dana. Okay. So let, let's do, grab that for me. Sure. Yeah. And this is a drill that, that I've seen you do. And uh, so I, I, I see this in the workout world a lot. So, yeah. so if, if this is like a sandbag or a, or a med ball, okay. So I get in here and I just have my arms just to say on top of my chest because they're not to the side. Yeah. Um, and that's important because if you're not saying that I'm, I'm jacked or anything, but yeah. I'm not small. Yeah. So if I had my arms on top of my chest, I create more freedom of motion and take tension out because I'm just letting my arms hang. Rather than like if you had it here. Right, yeah. correct. Yeah. So, so in order for me to move this object, I'm not just in a dead space going to throw it back because what happened now is the sequence of my turn relative to my pelvis isn't right. Okay. okay. So you see a lot of individuals get in and, and they go, okay, well, one like Instagram, YouTube thing is I need depth, right? Yeah. In my backswing. So what they do is they go, I'm going to take my arms in. And what they did is, yeah, they caused, they caused depth, but they never did it with their torso, okay. right? So if I get in here and I actually kind of move left first with some pressure, that, that object swings forward first, right? You can okay. see that. And what's very interesting this also causes the object to swing back in a straighter line. Mm -hmm. It doesn't just go around, right? So all the players that you might see that have the club going way in real early, yeah, it's probably due to that. Yeah, it's not because of their hands. It's 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 due to an idea that I've got to get depth. Correct. So yeah. they they twist and they collapse this angle very early. Okay. Yeah. 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 So now. I think is width important, yes. Is depth important, yes. But how you do it's important. Yeah. So we want to get this object moving, and as you can see, as I did that, the pressure goes back to my right foot, and the club swings down the line. Okay. And as I did that, this actually rotates. Yeah. I think um, I got in trouble for this from like some science people or whatever that that watched the channel, but it made sense to me at the time. Uh, I th when I took physics in college. The th one of the main things I got out of it was that all forces are in a straight line. Mm -hmm. And like, for example, like if the moon goes around the earth, it's not, it's not curving around the earth. It's just falling straight. Mm -hmm. and, right. and, then, and then there's another force that, that's keeping it on a curve. Yeah. So in that same kind of way is the, me the uh, what do you call the direction of a force? The uh, this is like a horizontal force. Horizontal. So, so, but like uh, the vector of the force or whatever, yep. what are you call uh, the director, uh, the direction of the force should f kind of feel straight back. And then that straight back force then gets turned into, well, yeah, you create torque. into torque and rotation Yeah. So rather than just being here and going rotate. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So it, you think of it like, and this gets pretty complex, but if if you have a, a, a line, right? And if this force going this way goes down, so if you look at swing catalysts, this is what they do. Yeah. So if, if I'm moving in this direction, I go here, it doesn't continuously go there, right? Yeah. So that's dipping this way. Well, yeah. at some point, if you're looking at Kyle Berkshire, he rocks the other way. Mm -hmm. So when he applies this force, there's a pushback. Yep. So this whole thing about me not going back to my left side well, I just ruined that whole concept by, I just created a push to push me back. Yeah. So that act, that has a breaking point that goes this way. Now, what's interesting when you did that- It loops is, itself around, yeah. Correct. So when I did that, that break also allowed me to rotate. Oh, okay. So if I go this way and keep going this way, I can't. Yeah. But I hit that, that line goes, I hit the brakes, it causes rotation, which is the second graph that you see. Uh -huh. And then that vector goes that way. Yeah. And that's where, and, and the harder you hit it, the bigger that vector goes. You mean those arrows? Yeah. 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 So, so and it's a ground. bigger, it's a bigger curve too. Yeah. So I think, or, or a, sh a sharper break, okay. I guess you'd say. Yeah. And that's, that's kind of what you're looking for. I think from like the science into things, but yeah. let's just not go into, into, yeah, yeah. into this conversation too much. But if you think about that, this whole idea of like low and slow, mm -hmm. Yeah. isn't very fluid right if you yeah. kind of did it where there was some dynamics to that or just learning to do the dynamics takes the manual perception of you trying to do something uh -huh. out which makes the swing look more fluid right all right so i got to ask you about what about ism because okay. we'll, we'll, we'll hear that they'll say what about hideki matsuyama what about it, it, it actually happens a lot in the asian tour mm -hmm. and um and a lot of uh 
driving range players that turn into super good players. Mm -hmm. Guys that go really slow back. And then there's like, at some point, it does get dynamic and then goes. Yeah. Um, like so Sanjay. what about, yeah, exactly. So, so what about some of these guys that, that don't take it away well, they're like still doing the so same. Much. So, oh, so, they are. They yeah, are. Hideki and Sanjay are doing the same thing. So if you look at, at Sanjay, so Sanjay gets in here, does a little bit of that movement, and Hideki does, and then they, they do have that horizontal, okay, for sure, especially Hideki. Yeah, you see it, yeah. Because he loads his system up. And, like, if it's so much that you can visually see it, that means, like, under the hood is a lot. Yeah, it's a ton. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like Xander, and I've seen his, his graphs and I've seen his force plate data, and he knows this. He doesn't not know this. He actually knows this. Is that he can actually go up and do a freezer because he's loaded his system. So just doing like that, that pause drill or freezer drill mm -hmm. doesn't actually work if you don't load your system up. If you're here and you go... <laughs> or I just yeah. go here and yeah. I just turn. Yeah, right. Well, you didn't load anything. Right, and right. That, and that's, that's where there's kind of a, I guess, a debatable conversation. So even if somebody's very slow off the ball, so to speak, they have, they, they're still doing the same thing. It's just that the, the way that they're doing it, you know, they've taught themselves to do it very slow. So they're still sure. loading they're just, and doing all that stuff. Yeah. It's just doing it slow. Yeah. Okay. 100%. Okay. So the last part about, of this video we'll do before we get into our next one is, uh, okay. So if somebody can see that their swing compared to like some of their, their friends who are super great, looks very positional and kind of like stuff like that yeah. and they want to get more flow to, and and they want to start their swing off right what's like a a good technique or drill to do to kind of get them started the right way i, I would say just focus solely on the ground so just just focus on okay when i rock right or left so i'm going left right now where is my body in time and space Okay. okay, so if I have an object and I just put my pressure left, did my upper body go in front of my, my pelvis or did I just push to the left? See how my pelvis is now in front of my upper mm -hmm. body? So start understanding like that precursor that I'm trying to move. Now I'm starting to in tap into more of the athletic movement of motion. Okay, just like you throw a ball. It's the same thing. Yep. It's no different. So just get, like uh, I've seen you do this before, get a something heavy, yep. big bottle of water or anything, and just get it where you can feel, Drew does this all the time with his tsunami stick or whatever it is, the Mach 3 stick. You just kind of do this like a lot yep. where you're and, and this should also the look pressure at, before the motion. Right, and if my stance is too narrow, mm -hmm. okay, it gets harder to do that. If the stance gets too wide, it gets harder to do that. There's, a, there's a fine line. You, feel, oh, you start to feel like, okay, where, where can I? Right. Where so, am I feeling this? So most? if I was doing like a lateral bound over this way, is my stance too narrow and I get outside of it? Like all those little things keep you athletic. Okay. So folks at home, just get your club and start getting pressure first, motion second. And um, in our other video, you'll see, we won't get into it now because we want to move on. But in the other video, you'll see like if, if my task, and nobody else is out here right now, my task was not to make a golf swing, but just have this and throw it back that way yeah you see a pretty good backswing yeah, there right 100%. yeah yeah 100 percent. we're gonna move on to the next video thanks for watching everybody you guys can learn more about dana at dana golf.com he's got a great membership site there and do me a favor and go on instagram and follow dana on instagram that's probably the uh the best way to personally interact with dana and uh a very very limited content on Dana's YouTube, but is is there gonna we're gonna start oh, yeah. to see more public we'll, content we'll see coming more. up? We'll Good, see more. Yeah. Good. So uh, so, so subscribe to his YouTube, and one of these days you'll start getting regular videos. Plus he's got a whole bunch of cool old ones. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Perfect.